So I'm going to teach you guys how to get this makeup look in today's video. And before filming, I applied the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil and the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer and set that with a powder. And then I contoured slightly with Max Blush and Blunt and I applied Anastasia's Dip Brow in Chocolate. I also primed my eyes with Urban Decay's Primer Potion. The first thing I'm going to do is take Makeup Geek's Creme Brulee Eyeshadow and apply that with a fluffy brush into my crease. I'm also taking this eyeshadow and sort of flicking it out at the end just a tiny bit. Um, it's kind of hard to do with this brush so you won't really necessarily see it. But then I'm taking a color from Smashbox. This is number 7 from the Click Your It palette which is discontinued but you can use any pink color that you want. And I'm taking that on a more precise brush and going right underneath that creme brulee color in my crease. And again just flicking that out as well. And you can see it a little bit better with a more precise brush, the shape. So I'm just going to build up that pink color until I get the intensity that I'd like. And of course every product that I'm using will be listed in the down bar below if I'm talking too fast or if you don't see sort of the slow motion clip. So the next thing that I'm going to do is take a flat eyeshadow brush and apply a sort of whitish peach color and this is number one in that palette. And I'm just going to apply that to the lid trying to make it as crisp as possible and cleaning up that crease area. So I'm just packing that nicely onto there and I'm also, again, sort of pulling it out into that flick shape and you can even see how much that cleans up the outer flick area. So again, just doing that to the other eyelid. And then I'm taking that blending brush that had creme brulee on it and with no additional product, just with whatever's left on the brush and just blending again. And this is just to keep everything nice and well blended, obviously. And then I'm going in with an orange color that's number 9 from the same palette. Again, use any orange you have. And I'm just going to go right above that pink and just sort of give an orange tint to the look. And then I'm deepening up that pink color once again. Now I'm taking the color Peach Beach from Essence. This is a really pretty shadow and I'm going to layer that over that sort of skin tone peachish white color that we put down before it on the lid. And then I'm going to take Max Pigment in Vanilla and just take it lightly without wetting my brush or anything and put it on the lid. And then I'm going to wet another brush and apply it to the lid in a more concentrated effect in more of like the middle area of my lid. Again, doing that to the other side, and if you don't have any products, or if you don't have the exact products that I'm using, feel free to sort of compromise. Now I'm taking the same pink shadow that we use in the crease and just applying it to my lower lash line with a angled brush. And I'm also going to do the same thing on the outer edge of my lower lash line with that orange color. Then I'm just going to take a skin tone color and highlight my brow bone. You can use any color that you want. And I'm taking Urban Decay's 24-7 Velvet Glide On Eyeliner and I'm just going to tight line with that. And I'm also going to apply it messily to the upper lash line. And the reason we're doing this messily is because we're then going to use a brush to smudge it out like I'm doing here. So you don't have to be precise with this because smudging kind of makes everything just look nice and clean and just a lot better and even a little bit smoky. Then I'm applying a mascara. I'm using the M Cosmetics mascara and I'm applying mascara to my top and bottom lashes. So those are done with the eyes. Then I'm going to take my Jane Cosmetics bronzer in Dream on a big fluffy Real Techniques blush brush and apply it in the 3E motion which is just the forehead, cheekbones and then the chin area or jaw area. And after that I'm taking Jordana's blush in sandalwood which is like one of the most natural blushes I own and I'm applying that to my cheeks and then taking the same vanilla pigment from MAC and just applying a little bit of it to the cheekbones and down the bridge of my nose for lips I'm using a combo of the Rimmel lip lacquers I'm using Luna and the nude one again the name will be down in the bottom bar below so I'm just layering that and that is the finished makeup look so now we can move on to the outfit. My top is from Necessary Clothing and it's actually been featured in a lookbook which I'll post below. 
My jeans are from Forever 21, and my shoes are from Charlotte Russe, and all of my jewelry will be posted in the down bar. So I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I will see you soon in another one. Bye!